Seattle Europe has invited us out here to sunny Girona to check out this new bike festival. Seattle, of course, usually happens in Monterrey. And for a second year now, we're here in Girona in Spain. And what's it all about? Of course, it is mountain bikes, road bikes. It's all here, trans bikes too. You can see all the latest gear, the latest tech. And more importantly, you can try it out. There's a huge demo field here. You can ride the stuff yourself and get hands on with it. And there's also racing. There's cross country racing. There's XC Eliminator. There's mini downhill stuff. And there's all sorts of demos and things you can take part in. Right now, we're going to run you through with an A to Z as fast as possible. Let's go. A is for Alpine Stars. They've been around for decades in motocross and also in mountain biking. And this is their MIPS Enduro helmet. That looks awesome. B is for Bird Cycles, the British brand making really progressive geometry frames. Super nice. C can only be for Crank Brothers, makers of some of the first size specific pedals with different size feet. D is for demo. That's what these events are all about, trying out the latest and the greatest stuff. Just don't forget to get them to swap your brakes the right way around. E is for Evoc. They specialize in making bags. They make hydration bags, they make bum bags, they make complete bike bags. You name it, they make it. F is clearly for festival. We're here at Sea Otter Europe and this is what it's all about. Hanging out in the sun trying new bikes, demoing stuff, watching the racing, just enjoying life. This is fantastic. G, of course, is for Girona, and also Game of Thrones, which you might well recognize this from, from the scene where Sir Jamie Lannister rode up the 91 stairs. Pretty bonkers, eh? H is for Hyperbike. We're in a new realm now, and the Mondraker podium starts at 4,000 euros, but goes up to 13,500 for the limited edition. I is for Intent, and although everyone might be talking about Aaron Gwynn on the downhill bike, the Sniper is the one doing it for me right now. That looks fast, even stood still. J is for Jones will not stop babbling so on about e-bikes. Bergamot, BH, Bulls, Camondale. Just get out of here, Jones. You're gonna have to watch the EMBN show if you wanna find out all about the e-bikes here at Seattle Europe. K can only be for Kryptonite, the purveyors of some of the best and finest and strongest and safest and most secure bike locks in the world. They do everything from gold, silver to bronze. They do ground anchors, they do the lot. Lock it up, don't lose it. L is for the lefty Ocho, the single crown, left hand legged fork by Canada. Incredible. M is for Maxxis, makers of some of the world's best tires, including the Minion, the High Roller, the Recon, and of course the Asagai, which is the Greg Minar signature tire. N is for Norco, makers of the Aurum, which is a high pivot, bump swallowing monster of a bike. O is for Orbea, and this bike in particular is super cool because it's got like an offset shock. So you can see here, you can access the shock better from the drive side, which means when it's hanging in the work stand, you can work on the shock and you can work on your transmission at the same time. A little bit different to the Specialized version, which is on the opposite side. Both frame designs though benefit from the fact that you're saving weight and increasing rigidity and also giving you better access for shock. That's super cool. P is for pump track. This is where all the action happens. You can demo bikes here and you can race the Eliminator. What an awesome spot. Q is for quick. In fact, the quickest bike on the Women's XCO World Cup right now. This is the same frame as ridden by Kate Courtney, except a slightly different spec, but you can buy this and you can rip it up yourself. Oh, naturally has to be for retro mountain bikes, of which there are loads here at Seattle Europe. There's even a race dedicated to them. Find out more about these on our next video. S, when in Spain, is for siesta. Essential to get out the sun. T is for trials. The art of observed trials. As you can see these guys in the background on the Danny Comas team doing, is all about precision riding. It's so technical and it's huge in Spain. U is for USWE. You might have seen Steve Pete wearing these. Hydration packs to sit really high up and apparently they don't move. Awesome. V is for Vittoria Tires, the Italian tire maker manufactured in Thailand. They're completely exclusive to them. They have a four compound system. They've even built a factory, the only one in the world that can make those tires. And they use the Wonder Stuff graphene in the casing to help make them more cut resistant. Serious tech. And W has to be, what the f X has to be for XC or cross country. The Spanish are mental for it. There's so many bike manufacturers here and there's so many different categories of racing, including the Super Cup. That is a serious race. 
Why is for yellow, clearly. Mavic, one of the most iconic looking brands in cycling. Well, there we go. That is very nearly the end of our A to Z from Seal to Europe. Um, it's been absolutely fantastic getting out here. It's got a proper festival vibe. Feels just like the one over at Monterey. Uh, obviously a different location here in sunny Girona in Spain. Absolutely great to see all the riders. So many people out demoing bikes of all ages. Like, it's so good to see and so much cool stuff. Don't forget to keep an eye out for our tech video that's dropping in the next day or so. And also watch the tech show because we've got some more highlights from CLC Europe. But uh, from my point of view, I'm uh, just about done now. Ta-ta.